ridiculous amounts of oh what was that what, what just happened what is up guys welcome back to the video so look at this i literally have a hacker challenge in the menu of bloons tower defense battles so basically, we're going to be playing against a programmed hacker. I don't know what it's going to do. I have no idea. Let's just go and wait. Wait, can I change? I can't change the map. I actually can't change the map. Okay, so we're against this hacker XX evil type guy. Um, I don't know what to expect. Okay, so it's a hacker challenge. So obviously, I am not playing against a real player. This is not a real player. This was literally in the menu of Bloons Tower Defense Battle. So let's see what happens. Let's just pick some good towers. Now, I am going to be hacking the game. I'm going to be using a hack against this guy. So yeah, let's see what happens. Let's go for the tag shooter, sure. Um, let's go for the wizard. That's always a good tower. And hopefully we can beat this guy. Like, I don't know what to expect. What do we get? A glue gunner. Oh my god, okay. Well, I guess we're going for the glue gunner. We're on the new map. Um, let's just see what happens, I guess. Okay, wait. My towers. Okay, okay. He just put down a... Wait, sorry. It shouldn't be here. It should be it. Okay, so it has hypersonic, infinite range towers, it seems like. And he's... <laughs> It's sending me camo. Oh, yeah. So, basically, I have 360 projectiles, which is, you know, really, really cool. He literally just sent me... I'm just going to say he because I'm used to saying he. But, obviously, like, this is not a real player. This is, like, a robot that was programmed to do stuff. Now, it's not sentient. Like, it's not proper... A oh, my God. Look at his side right there. Oh, <laughs> look how many... He just put three farms down at once. What is happening? What, <laughs> what is happening on their side right there? Okay, so... Oh, no, they're sending me a rush, actually. I think, yeah, we're obviously going to be okay. I have 360 projectiles, and we're versus hypersonic towers now, guys. If you want to see more content like this on my channel, please press the like button. Let's try and hit 3,000 likes if you want me to face something like this again. And, of course, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to hit 285,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Okay, they're sending me regen rainbows on round four right here. Re okay, they are spaced regen rainbows. Like, it's not too hard. I do have my camera detection. I literally have every detection. Let me just put a farm down here because you're going to see. He may be making a lot of money right there. But, oh my god, I'm going to be making a... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? That is a balloon... Wait, wait. <laughs> what? Why is the farmer a balloon chipper? Why is my farmer a balloon chipper? I had no idea that... Okay, okay. So, my, my farmers are balloon chippers. Okay. I can't upgrade them. I can't upgrade them. What am I meant to do? I also, for some reason... Oh, that's a big rush. That's a big rush right there. Are we okay? Are we okay against this? Okay, this wizard is OP, guys. As well as, like, playing this crazy hacker robot AI thing over there. Like, look at this. They have infinite range towers, hypersonic towers as well. Although the subs are kind of not doing much. But yeah, let's see. Let's see. Can I actually beat this guy? Oh, my God. And yeah, it, it's not a real person. I'm not actually playing a person right now. I'm playing. I'm playing the programming of the game. <laughs> oh, he's got an ace. Okay, so he's got sub ace dart and the farm so those are the towers we know about right now but does he have any towers we don't know about i guess we'll find out guys we will find out if he has extra towers also i need to put another balloon chipper down right here because um look at this look at this i am making too many bananas i'm making way too wait why is it making me so many bananas what is this this is crazy this is not normal um but let me put down even more of these weird balloon chippers are they even doing damage to anything no, it doesn't look like they can actually do anything. Okay, so we're going to save up for this uh, factory, which is, by the way, ridiculously expensive. It's 210000 for a factory. And yes, I know I am making a lot of money right here, but that's ridiculous. Okay, how much money am I making now? Okay, yeah, that's just insane. I'm making way too much money. Okay, so we got the Phoenix. We oh, he's sending me ceramics right now. Obviously, we can defend against ceramics. Like, what are you doing, hacker? Evil hacker. You are not literally going to do anything to me because I have a crazy defense right now. I only have one wizard, and I'm doing tons of stuff already. Okay, so let's get another wizard down. This is going to be my tornado wizard. It's going to be the... I, I guess they're not really hypersonic. They're just 360 projectiles, but who is actually going to win this? Crazy hacker over there with the hypersonic infinite range towers. Oh, look at that. What is he doing? Doing. he's putting down a ton oh tempest tornado look at that that's so sick did you see all those tornadoes right there that was insane but yeah look they're just putting ra random pineapples down i also i can't chat 
I can't, I can't send any of the chat pack stuff. Like, normally, you have a chat pack right here, and you can send, like, messages to your opponent. Like, I can thumbs down him, I can BM him, but I can't do that, guys. I literally can't do that at all. That's so strange. That's really weird. Okay, so, what does the Phoenix do? I want to use the Phoenix. Okay, that is what the Phoenix does. Look at that fire. That is insane. Literally, no more class balloons are going to get past me if I have that Phoenix up. That is ridiculous. Amounts of... Oh, what was that? What, what just happened? What is going on? They just like spammed balloon boost at me like an absolute ton of that. Oh god, are we gonna die? Let me just get a ring of fire up right here. Oh my god, this is insane. Let's also get the blade maelstrom as well. Um, because I need to defend, guys. I actually need to defend against all this stuff. We're only around. Wait, actually, we're already around seventeen. That has gone really fast. We're only four and a half minutes, and we're on round eighteen right now. And they're still spamming the pineapples on their side. Like, what is happening? I, are those reactors, they're probably not going to do much. Like, I'm actually surprised. Now, I'm not going to go for a rush against him. I want to see, like, how good his defense is late game, right? I want to see if I can beat him, overpower him late game against all the ZOMGs and stuff. I'm not going to try and kill him right now. Because I'm sure that he has a lot more surprises in store for us. But those balloon boosts really scared me. Because he just absolutely spammed tons of them right there. So, so far, Evil Hacker hasn't really sent me that many rushes. I mean, he sent me a bunch of rushes, but he hasn't sent me, like, a difficult to defend rushes. Everything has been fairly easy. It's been region, space region, rainbows, couple of ceramics, a ton of balloon boosted mobs and stuff, but it didn't really do anything. Also, let me just get a couple more blade maelstroms down here. And if you guys haven't already seen, this is an awesome hack. Like, look at those blades right there. Isn't that insane? Isn't that so cool? Like, look at this. It's so powerful as well. But I need to start preparing my defense. I'm actually going to get a couple more of these wizards. Now, I'm not going to get the lightning because I feel like that could be kind of laggy, but I am going to get a lot of the summon phoenixes because the Summon Phoenix is definitely... Oh! Oh, I didn't even realize, dude. He's got the Spectre. But Hypersonic Spectre is not that good. Because already, like, the tower, the Spectre, already attacks really, really fast. So, it honestly, it does not make much of a difference for the Spectre to be Hypersonic. So, it's already insane attack speed. Oh! What is that? What is that? That's crazy. Okay. Evil Hacker over there. Just the robot or whatever just got up a ton of hypersonic ground zeros. Now, that is a lot of darts over there. That's obviously going to be able to, like, if I send a mob against him right now, yeah, like, instantly demolish. Like, that's not going to do anything. Also, wait, how do I have 2,300 eco? I'm so confused right now. How do I have eco? I shouldn't have eco. Okay, I just sent a BFB. Oh, God. He has such a good defense. If I send, like, three BFBs right here, look how many ground zeros he has instantly demolishing everything pretty much and those darts i have to admit those darts look really really good because oh that is a zomg okay he just sent oh that is a big rush that is a big big rush let's oh these phoenixes though these 360 degree phoenixes are absolutely demolishing the balloons that's crazy that's so good let me just get like a glue tower down let me get the balloon liquefier right there 360 balloon liquefier this is gonna hit every single zomg so he did he does send a big rush on round 23 round 22 or something with the zomgs right there i'm okay against that but what is he what is he gonna send next like this evil hacker it's basically like it's basically like you know professor evil it's like professor evil but a hacker version of Professor Evil that is insanely hard to beat. That is insane. I mean, like, is defense over there? If I sent a bunch of Z like, if I, I'm going to, on round 24, I'm going to send a couple of ZMGs. Remember, remember, it's programmed. Like, it can't react to stuff I do. So if I send a rush and it can't defend against the rush. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did you just see those ZMGs over there? Look at the ZMGs. Look at the ZMGs. They're stunned. The ZOMGs are stunned. They're not even... He has hidden snipers, guys. Evil Hacker has hidden snipers on their side. Because there's no way they, they should be stalled otherwise. Oh, that's insane. That's not good for us, though. That's really not good for us. Because that means as well as having all these towers, they also have a fifth tower. Which, by the way, is illegal in this game. You can't have five towers unless you're playing extra, like, extra cards. The mod. Or if you're playing just regular car battles. Like, you're not meant to have five towers, but they have five towers over there. And if I send a bunch of CMGs, well, they're going to be stunned at the very start of the map for the aces to absolutely demolish. Which, you know, that's not good for us. That means they have a hypersonic sniper. Okay, we're only around 25, dude. Eight minutes 13. Like, this? 
this is going to go insane late game. Like, I have all of my wizards over here, which are doing a really, really good job. I also have the insane looking ring of fire over here, which, like, look at this. Look at the ring of fire right here. It looks so cool. It, like, spawns a bunch of mini ring of fires. Now, I know Evil Hacker over there does have a pretty good defense with all the hypersonic aces. And for some reason, a couple of reactor subs as well. And one triple dart monkey. But... I have 360 projectiles, and while, while they aren't, like, the attack speed hasn't been increased, these towers have a ton of attacking skill. Like, if I spawn these phoenixes, like, it, that's so much fire. Literally nothing can get past that, so I'm hoping late game, I'm gonna be able to take him out. Okay, so let's get another glue gunner right here, because I want to show you guys the 360 glue. Um, unless... Wait, is it going to show me the... Please show me the 360 glue. It's not showing me the 360 glue. Maybe it doesn't work because it's like the fourth tower. I mean, we're doing a really good job. We don't really need 360 glue. Like two balloon liquefiers or whatever is enough to literally glue every single mob class balloon on the screen. So that's good. Okay, did you see that mob there? Kind of lasted for a while though. Remember, once we get past round 32, I believe every single mob class balloon is going to get stronger and stronger and stronger and faster. So, are we going to be able to defend against stuff? I really hope so. So, Evil Hacker, honestly, they have... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're sending another ZMG right there. Okay, they're sending a lot of ZMGs right there. So, can I defend without using my Phoenix abilities? Because I don't have my Phoenix abilities up right now. Can I actually defend without them? Just using the glue, just using this wizard, just using the Ring of Fire. And the answer is yes. We absolutely annihilated those ZMGs. Like, Evil Hacker is trying to go for the kill right now. But no, I'm not accepting it, guys. I am not accepting it. My defense is OP right now. Now, the one problem is, I don't really think I can go for that many more towers. Because otherwise, like, I will probably crash the game. And if I crash the game, then I'm going to say Evil Hacker wins. Because, like, they, the only way I could defend against them and defend against their rushes and win this is if I got too many towers that crashed the game. So I would say that's their win. Because, you know, I had to sell, I, like, I had to get so many towers up. Okay, so we're in round 32 right now. If I send them a ZOMG on round 32, which has extra health and extra speed, how are they going to, oh my god, I just, they, they're absolutely annihilating these things. Like, look at that, wait, their snipers are way too good. Because they 100% have hidden snipers on their side right there. Because there's no way, unless they modded the towers and the projectiles, that they would have, a, a, like, a stool on these ZOMGs. But they do have a stool, and okay, wait, 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 my, my rush is actually kind of getting further on their side right there. So definitely we know, if we watch, okay, I think I'm going to rush them like round 40. Round 40, I think I'm going to go in for the kill, because I don't think they're going to be able to defend against the ZOMG rush over there. I really don't. And okay, let's, I want to go for a bunch, oh, look, they go for another rush against me. They know that they're in trouble. Like, they actually know that they're in trouble. I'm going to use this Maelstrom right here. It's going to be so satisfying. Look at that. Like, it doesn't say, obviously, we got any pops. Oh, no, we did get, uh, like, a few pops. Okay, again, we are defending against it. Oh, that's a lot of lag. What is happening right now? What is happening? Okay, okay, we're doing a good job. We are managing to pop everything. Look at my side. What is even happening right now? Oh my god, this is so laggy. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Okay, we're good. Um, okay, those, those CMGs were definitely more scary. They got a lot further on my side right there. Wow. Whoa, they, they really got far on my side right there. That is not fun at all. Okay, maybe maybe next time I should probably bring the soup monkey. The soup monkey is probably better against this guy. My god, that was really scary. But we're still alive. We're still alive. We're still doing good. Um, I'm going to put down another blade maelstrom. Let's put another one down here because blade maelstroms are not really laggy. Like you can just use the ability. They do a good amount of damage. The only thing I'm actually going to sell a couple of the phoenixes because they you can see they they really they almost crashed the game right there. And obviously I don't want to crash the game. Okay, so if we go for a couple more ZMGs, by wait, how much money do we have, by the way? I, I feel like, yeah, we have 10 million cash. That is so much cash. Also, for some reason, all his farms make the money at the very start of the round. Like, it's the round starts, boom, he makes an absolute ton of money, uh, but he's not spending the money on anything. He's literally had the same defense for, like, 15 rounds now, so definitely soon we're going to be able to get the kill against him. 
Oh, and look, he's going for more ZOMGs against me. Like, we're around 37 right now. He's going for more of them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to spam them. I'm getting the Phoenixes up. I'm getting the Phoenixes up. Please don't crash the game. Yeah, you can see what the Phoenixes, the Hypers... Oh, it's not actually Hypersonic. The 360 degree Phoenixes. Oh, my God. They absolutely destroy it. They absolutely wreck it. It's so good. It is actually broken. The only problem is the lag. But, like, using three of them or four of them right there seemed to be okay. It seemed to not really do too much. So, I'm happy with that. We're, dude, we're 14 minutes in nearly. We're around 38. This has actually gone faster than normal, I feel like. So, which tower has had the most pops on my side? Which one? Now, 35 gate. Okay, it's probably one of those. What about the Ring of Fire? Oh, okay. The Ring of Fire at the front definitely got the most pops. This thing has been absolutely crushed. Wait, 59,000. So it looks like the Ring of Fire is actually the thing that gets the most pops. That's actually kind of interesting. Okay, I have to admit though, his side does look really cool. His side definitely looks cool. This is a lot of lag on my side. This is why you don't get the hypersonic lightning. Because imagine all of the fireballs and the magic as well as the lightning. That would crash. That would literally crash the game right there. So I'm very, very glad that is not happening. Round 39 right now. I'm going to go for the rush on round 40. I'm, I'm just going to send endless ZOMGs and see if I can get it past XX Evil Hacker XX's defense. That is a really annoying name to say. Okay, there is a BFB right there. Obviously, we're going to be fine against the BFB uh, because these absolutely broke. I'm going to get the lightning on one of them. I feel like it won't make too much of a difference just getting one light. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't really know. Okay, so round 40. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Let's just send endless ZOMGs right now. I want to try and get the, get the win against this guy. Okay, so I am setting an absolutely huge rush right now. Like, look at the ZOMGs on their side right there. Now, are they going to be able to defend against this? I honestly, I don't think they're going to be able to defend against this. I really don't. Like, they have the, the, the hypersonic snipers or whatever hidden somewhere. But I'm just going to overwhelm them. Oh, wow. They're, they're definitely not going to win. They are definitely not going to be able to defend this. Like, just look at how many ZOMGs are on their side right there. Oh, uh, did they just sell something? I swear I just saw them sell something. But they obviously, they can't react to stuff because it's programmed. Like, it's not sentient or whatever. So, it doesn't know what's happening. But are they going to be able to defend? Like, it's close. It's stopped lagging. I think it's just my side that lags the game. But no, they're not going to be able to defend against this rush, dude. 100% they're not going to be able to defend against this rush. Oh, my God. We're actually going to get the win. I'm just overwhelming them with the ZOMGs right now. I can't even send. It's too laggy. It's too laggy. Let's make it even more laggy with spamming abilities and everything oh my god we have 13 million right now okay let's oh i can't click anything i can't click oh my god i actually won i can't believe i actually wait wait it just sent why does it send me home i didn't even click home i didn't even click home wait is it still there so if i go in quick play and i go in basel school no it's okay it's still there so i can challenge him again if i want to but yeah 3,000 likes if you want a part two i really hope you guys enjoyed and yeah see you guys in the next video peace